Welcome back to Tennisshare everyone. We all know that Apple has announced that the developer beta system is no longer able to access by those who are not enrolled in the developer program. They announced it not long ago in the time of iOS 16.4, but just one day after the WWDC 2023, they appears changed their mind. On the developer website, under the benefits and resources, Apple lists out the difference between a developer account and a non-developer account. All we need to know is, a normal Apple ID account now is available for the OS beta releases, and at the bottom, it shows free. If you just want to experience the new feature of iOS 17, you don't have to enroll with a $99 a year developer account. But if you're indeed an app developer, you still need to. You don't need to pay now, but still need to enroll in the program. Go to developer.apple.com on your iPhone or computer, tap the menu button and tap account. Sign in with your Apple ID here. After getting in, you don't need to tap the enroll button. Then back to settings, general, software updates, you should see the developer beta option here. Tap it, and you will see the iOS 17 developer beta update pops out. If don't, download the developer app, and sign in with your Apple ID here again. You can see my account is not enrolled with the program, if you did, you should see an account holder here, like my other account. Now you can download it and enjoy the iOS 17 new features. If you had already enrolled with the program just for the new iOS 17 feature, you might want to cancel the program and get a refund. Here's how, above benefits and resources there is an option called fee waiver, tap it, and here will show you if you have the eligibility for a new account or an assistant account to be waived for the fee of $99. Tap the submit a fee waiver, fill in your information here, and wait for Apple's review. If nothing goes wrong, your money should be back soon. Okay, actually I'm glad that Apple didn't lock out the developer beta for common users like us. Because $99 isn't cheap, and I think all Apple users should have the chance to catch up with the latest iOS or other OS. We all love to experience new stuff and feature. What do you think of this move from Apple? Leave a comment and let's talk about it.